hello guys what's happening it's your boy dollar graphics thank you so much for coming back so i'm so sorry for not being active for a while it was due to some circumstances but thank god we are back so if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so as to be notified when i drop a new video also please don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up so without further ado let's get started in this video i'm going to show you how to design an invitation card like this Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, this is my color draw. So I'll go ahead and create a new project. So I'll simply go to over to this place where I have my page to my page two over here and I have my resources over here. So I'm gonna simply change the page size. As you can see, the current page size is five by five inches. So I'm gonna simply change it to A6 or A5 size, like this. So this corridor doesn't allow me to use the double the feature of double click on my box like this over here my rectangle tool to fit into this my project so i'll simply draw a rectangle like this then copy the page size over here in my page dimension ctrl c on your keyboard then select this one ctrl v and paste it do the same thing to the other side make sure this one is not selected ctrl c over here ctrl c then select this one and ctrl v like that so I hit P on my keyboard to fit into my project over here like this. I'll head over and get rid of the fill by clicking on this track over here like this at the bottom like that. So I'll bring my resources over here like this. And this is the test I'm going to be using. So before, I, before the, let me simply position this one the way I want it in my project. Uh, okay. I actually want it to control page up. Okay. Control page down. So I'm gonna position this one over here and scale it up like this. Yeah, then bring it down a bit. Then I right click on it, right click on it like this, then come over to this place where it says power clip inside. I'll just right, select the power clip option and it's gonna pop me with this. Your cursor will change this from the normal one to something that looks like arrow shape. So I'll just go ahead and select my project and it is right inside it. Is it that you double click on your project over here like this open it up or better still you can select your project then come over to this place this place where it says edit and open it up like that so I just scale it down a bit I think it's just kind of much so I'll drag it left click and drag it to this side right click at the same time to duplicate it now I'll mirror it in my property bar like this and I'll have it this way so I just guide and come to this place where it says finish and finish it up like that so I'm gonna draw another rectangle over here like this and position it over here like that. Like this. Yeah. So I'll make sure my the red triangle that I drew just now is selected. Then hold down shift on my keyboard and select my project. Now C E on your keyboard to centralize it like that. So I'm gonna select it and increase the outline a little bit to about 1.2k, 1.5 kind of too slow too. I think this is too this two is okay. I think this two is okay. So I'll go ahead and to my tools bar over here. Make a selection of my shape tool. Then control Q on my keyboard to convert it to curve. Then select this side of the select this side of the triangle. Double click on it to give it this blue node over here. Then come over to this place. Click on it once. Then come over to your property bar and select this place where it says break curve like that. Then double click on this arrow that go back back that goes backward like this. And I'll be that way. So I'll do the same thing to this side, double click to click another one over here, then double click on this side to get rid of that side. Now come over to this place and repeat the same this thing that I did. Select this one, come over to your property bar, break it apart, then do the same over do, do the same thing over here, then double click like this, double click like this, and it is gone. So what next I'm gonna do now is to bring in this flower that I have over here and position it over here and scale it up like this. Like this, yeah. So this is the test I'm gonna be using. So I will simply cut off the together with their families. Control X on my keyboard, then come over to this place. Control V to paste it like this. Now double click on it. Control A to highlight it. Control Shift, sorry, Shift F3 on your keyboard to change the case from center to from lower case to tight uh, upper case like this. So I'm gonna change the font from area to go long I have it over here like this and I'll scale it up like this 
so I'm gonna fill it with this color over here like this this one that looks like purple like this so I actually got this color from if from a sample of this flower over here so if you, have, you want to select make a selection of if you want to sample your color from this your project I'm just going to select your color hydro part two from your tooth bar then sample any color that you want your that you felt like you want to use for the test so that's how I was able to sample a color from the, from it and apply it to my test. So this piece and first us, I just cut it Control X, then come back to display Control V. So I'm gonna change the test font to Ocean Sunshine over here like this. Ocean Sunshine like this. So I'll scale it up like this. We change it over here like this. Like this. Yeah. Also change the color to this one. So just go ahead and do it randomly to the test like that. Control X, then come over to this with Control V, Control A, Shift F3 on your keyboard, like that. Then U on your keyboard to select the upper case and change the form from the area to go long. So I'll change I'll also change the fill like this to this color like that. Let me check, let me check out if I'm missing anything. Because the honor, okay forgot to copy okay let me just copy this one from this side control C in your keyboard because I don't want this video to video to be too lengthy so I just come over to this play select this one then delete it then control V and paste the other one that you copy like that then take it up a bit like that so let me show you the way I actually achieve this side of the dates so I'm going to draw a narrow line with my pen tool like that so i'm gonna click once then drag over to this play by holding control on your keyboard then double click on this side to end the node like that then i'll scale it up i'll increase the outline a bit i think it's a little a little bit more let me change it to one yeah i'll leave it at one then duplicate it over here like this then select the both of them sorry select the both of them like this and duplicate it like this so I'm simply gonna highlight the this thing from this side highlight the dates like this control C on your keyboard then come over to this place and control V like this as you can see we are not on the actual area so I'll just go ahead and reposition it like that select this one get rid of it then select the test or select the outlines instead and put we position them like this over here like this yeah bring over bring this one over to the side yeah so what next I'm gonna do now is to bring in the um address I'm going to bring in the address over with the dress code over here like this control C on my keyboard then come over to this place and control V to paste them so I'm, I'm going to feel that the size that is for this one is ACES yeah the size that I use for that one, the, the first one is ACES that is why I have a lot of space in here so I'm going to simply change it sorry to A6 like this so it's actually uncustomized so I'm going to do the same thing that I do at first for the way I go around copying the figures control C control C then select your project like this and control V on it like that do the same thing to this side control C and apply it control V like that so I'm gonna simply scale this one down like this without going without going through the procedure that I did like this I'm gonna simply scale it up like this yeah and have it this way yeah things kind of fine like this so I'll scale it just I'll scale this one down a bit like this and position it over here like this uh, yeah I think everything is coming up now so let me go over to this place and see okay I'll copy this test that I over here control C that is the F is for festus and the P is of peace so I'll come over to this place control V to paste them then select this one and centralize them like that yeah I just select highlight this one and get rid of it so let me look at it okay let me try to scale this one down a bit 
like this so i'll simply select this one this outlines and scale them down a bit just take your time and scale them down a bit like this yeah and i think it's okay like this so this is how i was able to achieve this invitation card in cold i hope you like this video please don't forget this give this video a thumbs up and if you are here to subscribe to this channel please do subscribe now and turn on the notification bell so as to be notified when i drop a new video see you next time thank you so much for watching